welcome back. I hope all is well and everyone's having a great day. If you are new here, welcome. Today we will be reviewing and flipping through the new 2022 Creative Companion from Ruby Charm Colors. This is an organizer and an art journal uh, slash coloring journal, crafting journal, whatever you want to make it. <clears throat> this is a really cool book. I used this book this year, um, 2021, for the first time, and I absolutely loved it. This is my book for this year. As you can see, it is well loved. I put tabs along the side, which really helped me organize, and my book has been through it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it held up even though I had it down in my uh, work bag every day taking it to work um, it held up and I absolutely love this thing honestly I can't make it without it because it really keeps me organized and at first I didn't think it would keep me as organized as it did because this book has a lot of blank pages but I really like that because I can make those pages whatever I need them to be. It's not a cookie cutter journal where everything is labeled like this is your whatever section or this section. You can make that, that section whatever you want it to be. And you can also decorate your page in any type of washi or anything like that. And this year, that's for 2022, that's what I plan to do. So not on this video, but on a separate video, I'm going to decorate my book. Every month is going to be a different color. And I'm just going to really make it my own um, as far as coloring. And I'm going to share that with you guys. So if you order that book, if you order this book, I can show you how to really get the most out of this book it is an awesome book it's pockets well kind of like a pocket size it, you could fit into your purse on the go i love this thing this book is designed for those needing to keep notes list ideas and events to keep your art your coloring or your crafting organized it also have 30 new Ruby Charm color designs to color throughout this book. And that's another way you can make the book your own. You can color each illustration and really make this book your own. And I would like to thank Susan for um, sending me books to give away. So I will have two of these books to give away for you guys so susan thank you for sending me the books i really appreciate it all right this book belongs to you can make it your own really like it and this is the welcome page just telling you all about the book about the calendars um you have that look ahead and she also give you different charts um, tips on how to use the book and get the most out of the book. And you have your index. I'm going to bring it down a bit. This is your index. And you can make your own legend over here. Um, depending on how you make this book your own. And, and this book also has swatch charts, which is really cool. <clears throat> so now we're going to get to the calendar. I love the mandala. And you have your 2022 calendar um, at a glance, all on one page, you know, on one layout. I love that. Highlights for 2022. And if you don't want this to be highlights for 2022, if you want to make this something else, put a piece of washi over it and just make it your own. Whatever you want these two pages to be, that's what these two pages can be. 
and a look ahead, your 2023 calendar, a blank page where you could do whatever you want to do. And this is your monthly setup. Um, this is January 2022. You have a section for notes, which is cool. And I'm going to let you glance at mine because my calendar is really like I use it a lot. And I'm just going to give you a quick peek um, because I have a lot, some personal stuff on it as well. But I'm just going to give you a quick peek at how busy I have made this calendar and how I use this calendar. You see all of that? Yes. That is how much I rely on this creative companion. Love it. And then you have blank pages. And you can make these pages whatever you want these pages to be. Whatever your needs are. That's what I like about this. It's all about you with this book and what you need. And what will make you organize you know keep you better organized with your crafting your art your coloring painting whatever you do you also have a blank page with no lines this is a graft page and you have another blank page and you have some beautiful artwork um the artwork in this book is absolutely stunning and then you come to your next month and each layout is exactly the same. I really, really like that. And I'm just going to flip through and show you the beautiful art. And then we'll get to the back of the book to some goodies. It's another beautiful page of art. I love that, like a mandala type of wallpaper type page. Mushrooms, yes. The art is just absolutely beautiful. Is that the what's on the front page now? It's really nice. Bees. Oh, that's a cute page. I really like that. Fun. So I guess for this month with the B page, with the B illustration, I could make whatever month this is, yellow and black. That's June. So I could theme the whole month with Bs and yellow and black and white. Really cool. And that's what I plan to do. Each month, a different theme, have my washi in my book. We're going to do it together so I can show you how I do it. And to show you how to really get the most out of this book and make it your own. So I look forward to that. Another beautiful illustration. Oh, look how beautiful. That's beautiful. Susan is so talented. And another thing I plan to do with my book this year, I'm going to take my book to Office Depot and I'm going to have my book put on a spiral. I'm going to have my book spiral bound this year. So before I start anything, probably tomorrow, I'm going to drop my book off and have it spiral bound. That way, when I come back um, to show you how to really get the most out of this book and how to decorate it and really make it your own, mine will be spiral bound by then because I'm definitely going to do that. Have it spiral bound. It's only a couple of dollars to have a book spiral bound, but it's really, really... To me, it's convenient. I love it. Because I had my, this is the original Ruby Charm Colors Big Book of Color Charts. 
this is the original book. The original book did not come spiral bound and I took it to Office Depot and they put it on a spiral for me. So it's just very easy. I love it. I have to have mine spiral bound. Okay, so here we go to the compendium. A black page, really beautiful. Can't wait to put some neon gel pens on that. And this is, I'm gonna bring it down some. This is your art supply resources. Again, if you don't wanna make this your art supply resource, if you wanna make this something else, put a piece of washi over it and decorate it real pretty. And you know, just make it your own. But you can have everything you need in this one book. Art Supply Wish List. My Art Supply Wish List is definitely filled out in my book. I love this. If I see someone's video, if I see something that I want, I go to my Art Supply Wish List and I put it on my wish list. Techniques. Love this section. I always use this section. If I see someone doing something or if it's a technique that I just came up at, you know, out of the blue with, I definitely write that in this section so I will remember the technique. Books. Now, I use books because I have a separate uh book that keeps that's supposed to keep all my books in logged in for this I would make this books to buy or something related to books, but I wouldn't put, I'm not going to put my books in here because I have way too many to put in this section, but I'm definitely going to put something related to my books in this section, probably books I want to color in, in 2021, in 2022. So that's probably how I will make this section for the books. But we're going to check that out. And guys, we, you know, we're going to do all that together. Hashtags. This section is needed. There's so many different hashtags throughout the year in different coloring groups and um, Facebook groups and Instagram and YouTube channels. This is definitely needed and I would put my hashtag and I would put what channel or what Facebook group you know some other information across from my hashtag that's just the way I use the hashtag section but I love it podcast you can do any put all your podcast information here if you don't watch podcast you can put a live stream schedule because whether if you're coloring or diamond painting or crafting, card making, you have you usually have weekly live streams that you attend, that you watch. So you can, if you don't do podcasts, you can make this, put your washi over it, decorate it real cute, and make this your live stream schedule for different channels. You have to think outside the box websites this is needed because <laughs> we all love coloring supplies art supplies diamond painting supplies crafting supplies you can put all of those websites where you find those awesome items or websites you want to visit in this section that session session section is a must-have youtube channels you definitely need this section to write different YouTube channels, new YouTube channels that you may want to visit, but you may not have time to go and visit that channel. Um, videos you want to watch, just anything YouTube channels, this section is definitely needed. And you actually have quite a few pages for that section, which is definitely needed. All right, creative planner, again, neon gel pens, definitely. And you have blank pages. And this is the part you can also really make your own. Whatever inspire you to create, 
whatever helps you and keep you organized, label it. Take out a few pages, like just take a section of pages. Let me grab my tabs. I have those small tabs. That's what I want to show you. These small tabs here. They're small, and it's the same tabs that I have on the uh, in this book. The smaller tabs work well in this book. And you could take your tab. I'm going to open it and place one so you can check it out. And just show you how awesome this book can be. Take my tab off. You can also take the tab off, put December, January, February, and label each month. So if you have something, let's say in January, you want to plan something in April, just go, you don't have to flip through your book. You could just find your April tab and you're at April already. Just put your right on your tab, whatever you want on your tab, or I use like uh, plain stickers and write on it and then stick it to there. So it look more, you know, it just look more professional, but and I have the tab on there. It's a small tab. It's not real big. It's great for this size of book. I will put these tabs below as well so you can purchase these tabs to go in your book. The link to the book will also be below. And these are just blank pages. You have line pages. You have blank pages. Just to make this book whatever you want. Look, you have graphed pages. Guys, infinite possibilities with this planner. I absolutely love it. I just showed you how much I use it. And I'm so happy to have this book. Swatches. Swatch charts. You have some color notes. Just some information about color theory and different things like that. You can color in your own color wheel here. And here we go. You have swatch charts in the back for little things. Maybe you want to swatch for a little <clears throat> activity or a project that you want. You can swatch it back here. You can have your colors ready. And you can go ahead and get started on your project. Guys, this book is absolutely amazing. You also have black swatches, so you can swatch out metallic gel pens or different things like that. Just an awesome book. I can't say enough about it. Um, I had it last year. I mean, this year, and I love it absolutely love it um you can also check out the ruby charm colors big book of color charts i live by it it's my favorite swatch book it's so awesome i'm going to leave the amazon link below for the original original version it's not spiral bound and it has thinner paper but if you want that artist edition that's spiral bound with the thicker nice really nice paper I'm going to leave that link below as well. Um, you can also get the new uh, artist edition on Esty. So I will leave that link as well as the other link if it's sold out on Esty. But guys, check the big book of swatch torts out. You know I use it every Sunday. I love it. Guys, this is the new 2022 Ruby Charm Colors Creative Companion. I love it. I highly recommend it. It has brought me through this year. It kept me organized. I didn't forget a lot. <clears throat> it was just, and it lasts. And I had it in my work bag every day. So it looks beat up. But I, I, you can tell love went into this book. I love it. Guys, if you have any questions about the book, feel free to comment below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.